Hi, this is Ella for MVM, and today I'm bringing you a preview of Dance Guard, published by Cardboard Console and designed by Michael Malkonian. And of course, because this is a preview, all the components that you see are not in their final form. So in Dance Guard, you're going to reminisce about simpler times, when the biggest obstacle in your life was finding a partner at your high school dance. In this game, you take on the role of a student, racing to be the first one to dance with the three partners on their Dance Guard. Now let's take a look at what we have in the game. The game has 32 characters you can choose from. Each character has an accompanying dance card, which tells you who they want to dance with, who you need to talk to so that you can dance with those people, and crushes and rivals who thwart your romantic plans. Each dance card also tells you the dice you start with. We also have a game board cut into areas that mimic a high school dance floor. You have the area for refreshments, a section for the bleachers, a bathroom, a janitor's office, and the dance floor itself, which is cut into four sections. Students will be distributed around the board. You also have a space for smooth move cards, which give you boosts in the game. There are also mix it up cards, which change things in the game to keep you on your feet. You play the game over a series of turns, broken into two phases, the spin phase and the action phase. In the spin phase, the active player takes a spin dial and rotates it to the next icon, resolving the shown effect, either rolling the song dice, resolving spark effects on cards, drawing smooth move cards, gaining additional move actions, or revealing the top of the mix it up card, all of which either give you positive or negative effects you have to react to. For as you know, as a student, the struggle is real. You then go through the action phase where you perform up to two actions from move, dance, chat, or nerve. In move, you move any student to an adjacent location, except you can't move one of your partners to the same dance floor as your student. In dance, when you have a student and their partner on the same dance floor, the active player can attempt a dance roll. This means collecting the dance dice indicated on your card and any additional dice from your friends and chat tokens and rolling them. Check the dance difficulty of your partner. This includes a number and sometimes some icons that you need to match or exceed. So in this scenario, the dance roll is a success as you meet or exceed the number and icons required. And this one is a failure since you don't. Chatting is important too because when you talk to a contact for your specific partner, when you are in the same area as them, they give you extra dice that you can use during your dance rolls. Now, the last action is nerve. Sometimes you fail dance rolls and you get fail tokens on your dance card. To get rid of them, you need to use this action to ditch those failure tokens. You can only do this either in the restroom or the janitor's office. Everybody needs alone time to shake out the failure out of their system. Aside from the competitive mode, there's also now a solo and co-op mode. Please check out the Kickstarter link below to find out more about this and to see the final components in the game. And that was a preview of Dance Guard. If you have any questions about the game, please type them in the comments section below. And if you like this video, subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button to get notifications when we have new ones, and follow us on all our socials. We are at Man vs. Meeple on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.